Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind records from SQL Server database and display records into HTML table. And here we got the final output. The table employee table is binded into this HTML table using string builder class. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New, Project and I am choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is Bind Records HTML Table. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm choosing empty. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. I'm creating a new ASP.NET web form into this project. Right click the project name. Add new item. I'm selecting web form. Bind data html click add and here we got the source page of the newly created bind data html.aspx page now between these form and do tags i'm adding one panel control to add html controls into the panel control open toolbox panel control you can use panel or placeholder but I am using panel control that's it we have done the designing part right click the mouse go to view code now in this code behind I am adding SQL server namespaces using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client and the last one I'm adding using system.configuration. After adding these three namespaces, now my next step is I'm adding my connection string in the web.config file. To add the data source connection in the web.config file, open view, server explorer, open that one. In the server explorer, the data connections, right click that one, add connection. The data source is a Microsoft SQL Server SQL client and the server name I am adding my SQL Server. After adding the SQL Server name, I am selecting the database name SampleDB. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And notice here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections. Now we need the sample db.dbo data source. Right click the sample db.dbo. Go to properties. In the properties, under connections, the first option is the connection string which, which contains a data source. Copy the whole thing. Open solution explorer. Web.config file. Open that one. In the web.config file, Inside the configuration, I am adding connection strings. Add name is equals to my connection connection string. I am pasting the data source which I have copied. Provider name. Provider name is a system dot data dot SQL client. That's it, we have added the connection string in the web.config file. Switch to the code behind again. In the page load, if condition, if not, page is post back. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. Between double quotes, I'm adding my connection string name which is my connection copy this one and pasting here dot connection string property 
SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I have created an object for the SQL connection and in this SQL connection class I'm adding the main con object string SQL query in this SQL query I'm writing the select statement now before writing the select statement let's open Microsoft SQL server management we we'll check the table and the column names for this demo purpose I'm using the employee table which contains four columns ID name email and salary I want to bind this employee tables into a simple HTML table from code behind let's copy the table name select start from the table name is a dbo.employee table SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query command text and second parameter is the connection object our connection object is a SQL con copy this one and paste here let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding the SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill I'm filling the data with the database data table object now the main part is we need to bind the data into the simple HTML table so for that I'm using a string builder class string builder so we have to add the namespace using system dot text namespace string builder class belongs to this system dot text DLL library string builder SB is equals to new string builder the purpose I'm adding the string builder class I'm appending the HTML controls into this as string builder object sb dot append method between double quotes I'm adding center tag sb dot append method h1 I'm closing the h1 tag here now in the h1 header tags I'm adding the how to bind data from database in HTML table as we dot append method H2, I'm closing the H2 tag using string builder class as we dot append method. I'm adding horizontal line. After adding the header tags and horizontal line, as we dot append method. I'm adding table now in this table I'm adding border also border is equals to 1 as we dot append table row as we dot append I'm closing the TR table header now between this TR table rows I'm adding for each loop to adding the headers for each loop data column DC in I'm adding the data table object DT dot columns CYL columns property now inside this for each loop I'm adding the table header as method 
between double quotes th as we dot append method I am closing the table header now between these table headers I am adding the column names sb dot append I am adding the dc dot column name dot I want to display the column names in upper case to upper so method after adding the table headers now we need the rows for that I'm using again for each loop data row dr in dt dot rows property sb dot append method between double quotes I'm adding tr semicolon sb dot append method I'm closing the tr tag now between these trs I want to bind the columns into this rows so here I already written the columns function for each loop just copy this one I'm pasting here now between this th I'm adding the dr between square brackets I'm adding dr dc dot column name dot to string method I'm deleting the two upper method that's it we have done the complete coding part now we need to close the table and the center tab this one sb dot append method I'm closing the table sb dot append method center tab now the last final step we need to add the all HTML elements into a panel control into this panel control panel 1 which is the panel control id dot controls dot add method this add method takes a child controls new the child control I'm adding the label control between square brackets curly braces sorry text is equals to sb which is a string builder object dot to string method let's close the connection string sql con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part to bind data from database into html table using string builder let's check the results google chrome and here we got the final output the table employee table is binded into this html table using string builder class that's it